Greetings and salutations, welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Garwal. Where we last left our nation, we had just been converting over here, consolidating our power, recovering from the wars. So there is a war between Delhi and John Core. And my province. I. Ugh. Queen Regency. I don't know if we could do too much to turn this to our advantage. We're going to take Vishnu again. Try to convert this down. Okay, so one thing that we could do is we could attack Dundar to provoke a conflict with Jampur. That would be the way of skirting their alliance system and then just force them to break alliances. Uh, because with them already fighting Jampur, I think we would have the upper hand. Picking another troop. I'm going to do that. Our mission is to take this province. Down to Earth Sailor. 2230. Okay. See if we could we oh, I think we lost our claim. Let's just go ahead and get rid of that mission. Amani's attack Malwa. And Delhi dishonored it. So we might be able to isolate them if we could just attack Dundar over this province, and maybe Delhi might not accept. I might just be able to attack them straight on. No, Bengal still would accept, despite their debt, despite their ongoing war. But we'll keep an eye on that. See if we can get a claim on them as well. Well, okay, so yeah, we can use the Dundar way. So what do we do with this other one? On subjects? So we're at 16.63. I think we've made enough progress. We're just going to go straight for Shakti. Just kill killing ability. Got the morale of armies person. Oh, he's going to have some problems with war exhaustion. We've got a larger army than Jampur or me. For relations with Nepal. That seems manageable.
I think the advantage that we have is they're going to have war exhaustion, and we do have subjects, so together we've got an army the size of theirs. If we can invade them without Bengal joining in, I think we've got this. Let's go ahead and get a claim on that province. Bengal still in their war. Are we really going to get more war exhaustion than that? Probably not. Question is, do we go for it? Yeah, I think we do. Just gonna go for their fort up here. And I think we should just get a single unit of mercs and grab these three provinces. Drive up their war exhaustion. Okay, so let's get adaptive combat terrain. I also really want the free war taxes. Might not be a bad time to take our golden air as well. Five prestige sounds good. Yeah, let's start a golden air. Let's do it. means we got 50% more manpower right away. If I can capture these two forts. And try to wipe them out over here. That's one of them. Let's ask all of our friendlies to attach. A chance of capturing that 21. We should be able to capture this first, bring down the second. Actually, this is kind of risky. Pull back to our wall for the moment. Yeah, there's something like that could happen. Ugh. Can we get out of there? Okay, that worked out. Not exactly the way I pictured that happening, but... If we can capture this soon, then we can just march down there and hopefully stack with them. And now we're stuck at this 42. It's been three months. Why do you keep getting exiled, Cam?
Okay. I don't know what that was, but I appreciate it. Okay, we can't go down there. Unless we ask for access. Let's get that access. Let's see if we can stack wipe. Okay, they stack wiped them for us. And let's see if we can get Bengal out of this war. No, not quite yet. I don't think they have an army. 3,000 troops. We'll leave this one guy behind to capture territory. And we'll lay siege to some of their stuff over here. I'm surprised they're not more willing to sign peace. Let's go ahead and free those guys up to do whatever they want to do. Okay, now I think. I mean, disaster, plutocratic coup. Uh, yeah, it'll it'll never trigger. Occupy this stuff. Okay. Yeah, I think it's only a matter of time before Bengal's going to peace out. If we can capture one of their forts. Okay, so we lost that Merc, but it's all over for them. So at this point, Bengal, we might as well feed uh, Orissa some of your country. Can we leave one guy behind? No. Hopefully we'll capture this quickly. Or Orissa's troops know how to fight, one or the other. Sure, we'll go ahead and take that. Let's bring our stability up. I'm going to improve relations with Nepal. I don't think we need that spy power any longer. Let's 
Let's call that guy back. Okay. Well, let's take all their money. They already lost their alliance. I just kind of want to hurt them at this point, but... Yeah, I think we're just going to take some more reps from them. Alright. 100 war score worth of stuff. That'd be a pretty big coalition. It'd be even bigger. Let's see, do any of these cores belong to anyone else? I mean, I guess we could force them to release somebody. That's... that's better. That's probably the best one that I could see. And that basically breaks them. They're no longer any kind of threat to us. And we just took a 28 development province from them on top of everything. So yeah, that's that's pretty nice. These are merchant... Or, sorry, your uh, nobility needs a little bit more land. We'll give them this. Could give this to our merchant guilds, but they already have enough influence, so I'm not going to do that. And let's target outraged countries. <laughs> That's good. We're the strongest power in northwestern India. We're going to work on our subjects. I'd like to integrate in Baluchistan. I think we need to pay that for it. I don't think we need to pay this one. Don't need to pay that for it. Actually, we don't even need to pay that for it. We'll save some cash by not paying our forts. And now let's get this advisor. Our legitimacy is really high now, fairly stable, manpower is still low. I'm gonna get those depot points. I don't want to melt our engineer. Just give our fort. 
some additional strength. And let's pump up that trust. We have 6 out of 53 forts already. Bring in another two units of troops. I'm going to do that. I'm going for cavalry. Relations with Nepal. We heard them as much as we could. Pretty close to it. So I have to send them a gift, but we've got plenty of cash, so that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I'm feeling this. Run is now going about as nicely as we can expect. There's a friendly Persia to the west. Timurids are weak. We've eliminated Delhi. And these guys are relatively equal in strength to each other. Proper fleet. I suppose. Uh, I do want that manpower recovery. Okay, I'm thinking we have plan for attacking Maywat and Gujarat before somebody else does. I, mean, I guess we could just vassalize them, but... It isn't worth the slot. Just for development. That's not a lot of aggressive expansion. And they're Hindu, anyway. Okay, so we no longer have that problem. I can take this, and they'll get over it after a month. If we handed this off, their invoices would go up 20. We, can, we cannot do that. All right. That's all the sailors we have for the moment. Okay, so we were pushing trade from here. This isn't really going to help us, because it doesn't go up to Kashmir, it goes past it. But we could potentially privateer against our rivals. Get some power projection out of it. Stand. We give that off to an estate if we felt like it. Yeah, let's give that to our Brahmin cast. Nice. Oh, Malwa doesn't have any. No, it's okay. What do you want out of this? So I could freely claim those three. And it wouldn't be a problem. Yep. I mean, obviously, aggressive expansion could be a problem. I locked him. 
So I'm going to do this. He'll give us warp dissipation. Yeah, try it. Kind of like us occupying that, I'm not get transferred over to them because I don't want them to have it. Uh, sh yeah, I've do that. Okay, do we want manpower? I think we want manpower. Dundar. We don't want that province. We'll give it over to Nagawa. Now, the reason why I say we don't want it is because of aggressive expansion. Okay, so if we privateer... Let's see, who are our rivals? Let's take a look at that first. Okay, Malwa, Delhi, Timurids. So yeah, privateering would really help us. Let's just stay and board them. It'll help us get sailors more quickly. Becca did his job. Gujarat's basically dead, so we'll finish them off. But Bhagwan is allied to Bamanis. So we really can't do too much about them. We'll just have to improve relations with them. Try to keep them out of the coalition. Go ahead and wipe these guys out. They do have a second army, yeah, right there. So it's good to kill them before those two can merge up. And we'll just hang out here for the moment. Actually, we can move up here if they're not going to sit on that province. We really care about this province. Not really. I'm aware that they're going to break the alliance with us eventually. This isn't our fight, but I don't want Delhi and Separatists succeeding. Ouch, that's painful. Should be a stack wipe for them. Yeah, it was. Good. Okay, keeping them under control. Let's keep an eye on our time. Uh, 30 minutes, exactly. Let's stop here. Thank you for watching.